let's uh, start your uh, lesson review that is from uh, 6.5 to 6.6 .6, as usual so uh, let's start to working in uh, skill builders and in challenge review 4 going to start our work in challenge and uh, in skill builder i have activity warm up activity some questions are there so you can uh, first read your uh, questions open your uh, notebook and start writing the answers before this you need to stop stop this video and just read the question and write down the answers i hope you write down your answers let's check your answers uh, question number one revolution means when earth complete its one rotation or earth revolves around the sun is called a revolution the solar system is the things which is move around the sun is called the solar system number three the difference between the inner and the outer planets inner planets they always made by uh, stone or sand and the outer planets they always made by gases or ice right Let's start my lesson object today is to review of the topics the earth revolves around the sun and exploring the solar system. So these two topics we already done and now we are going to solve skill builders and uh, challenge. So let's start open your challenge book page number uh, 55 to 59 have you okay let's start this these are the two pages which i uh, made it for you um just take the picture and uh, keep it here so let's start here is you see that there is some uh, here the picture is here in which they ask name the orbit labeled a this is the orbit orbit means look it move around the sun it complete the one revolution so what is this this orbit called revolution it shows the revolution right now we are talking about how much time what what length of the time does earth takes to complete one orbit yes if it complete the one orbit means the whole circle around the sun it means it takes one year or you said it's 365 days right now on the diagram of the earth position is labeled june which months do position B, C and D represent? Let's see here B. B is here. And D is here. Here is C. C means if June is here, it means it is some summer. So against the summer, it's just, just the opposite of the summer is the winter. So C is the winter. It's easy for winter. Right? now we are talking about b and c we know that b and d definitely one is autumn and one is a spring but which one is autumn and which one is a spring there so you have to be focused on it here b is september why we said because after june onward the june is august september right so we said this is September right now September October November December 
after December, January, February and then it's March. So we have to be right down March here. Why March? Because this season after two months there is a difference in two you have to be at two months here then you got September when you add two months here then you got December when you add two months here in December you can got that one so when you add in every circle in every space you have to be at two months more then you will get the answer now in question number three in the northern hemisphere which seasons are people experienced as position c you know season which season is there this is winter why is winter because now they ask for what features what features in the diagram so it will shows the longer longer nights because the longer part is in the dark so longer nights this is the feature for the winter longer nights and shorter days shorter the length of the days right now they ask for which season are people all over the world experienced at position b and d now we are talking about b and d definitely it's autumn and winter so we said it's autumn and spring i'm sorry my writing is not good enough because uh, here is uh, the marker which is in uh, in the computer so little bit difference is there what length of the day and the night are people are all the world experience at this position because here in b and d look here is exactly the center and the equal length one is in a day it shows a day and second is shows the night it means exactly when we have exactly the half time half of the length of the uh in between the sun and the season so it means half of the day 12 hour day it shows 12 hour day and 12 hour night so equal and 12 are night so just when they ask for this you have to be look at the picture and just give the answer for this now think about for how many days of the years will the earth occupy the position shows on that diagram explain your answer now in this way i told you when have only the one day because it shows the one day only the earth revolves around the sun continuously so every day is in the slightly difference in the position so you know every day we we feel there is a difference in the day length and the day night so you have to be search in the google or from the net and write down your own answer that's really important okay my dear so now move so uh i just complete my uh, here and after this the second part we will complete that one the second search thank you